<laughs> My name is Jill Rogan and I'm a speech language pathologist. The strategy that I focused on was using peer models. So then they sent me a, do you remember? <laughs> wow! The peer model is a child that presents with stronger skills in an identified area than the peer that we're putting them with. And uh, often the peer personality comes into it a little bit. You want somebody who can really make a connection with their peer and who the other peer is going to accept as a peer model. I don't think it's necessarily the child that has the best skills or might be at the top of the class. We often find that uh, it's the, just the child that's maybe even the closest to the peer, um, just that one step above the child that we're looking at supporting. The first step often is the identification of the peer models. And I think what happens is often teachers are looking for what the concerns are that a child presents with. And, and um, because there are children in the class that don't have really identifiable concerns at the beginning, they may not see the um, purpose. And we take a look at evaluations they've done and observations they've done, and teachers start realizing that they can use peers in the classroom to help them and to support them in the work that they're doing with children. <laughs> I think we all have to admit that our peers are important to us, and even from an early age, children are interested in other children. And so I think the benefit is you take something that's already there, and you, already, you just enhance it a little bit. So you're not having to introduce something artificial, and you're also um, creating a connection socially, and I think that's a benefit to all children, and I think you're introducing a strategy that is sustainable. And so if we introduce this strategy at a young age, children can learn this and use this throughout their life. I think it benefits the model as well because I think there's a part of all of us that likes to be supportive and caring about another individual and I think as a peer model I see children feeling really happy and good about themselves when they can help a peer in the classroom. I think peer modeling is a strategy that's very easy so it's one of my favorites and I think it's just one that's sometimes overlooked but I find with my teachers that as soon as we mention it, we identify peers, we talk about how easy it is to do, it's small tweaks to a classroom routine. They look differently at how they set up their snack groupings. Well, they're going to do snack anyway. So now they're thinking, oh, now who's in the snack group at that particular table? And So when they're looking at doing a, a discussion at the carpet time, and if they're thinking to themselves, I just need to allow a little bit more peer-led discussion. I don't have to always facilitate, but if I step back and allow children to start interacting with each other, it's much more fun and engaging. And so I think what happens with the use of peer models is the more you do it, the easier it becomes. I think anytime you give an opportunity to a child to be a peer model, then they begin to assume more of a leadership role. I think they feel confident and competent about their abilities because all year we've been saying to them thank you and, and highlighting what they do as being a positive thing and emphasizing what uh, support they're offering. And so once I think you hear those kinds of comments as a child, you recognize that uh, you have something to offer. And I think that's what leadership really is.